senior year is all about being the Cheerios top hoe and modeling my fierceness after my numero uno Latina, Paula Abdul. You are my Cheerio co-captains. What? Wait, co-captains? With no, no way. Uh uh. I can't work with her. Nah, nah, nah. See, let me tell you how this gonna be, if I may. When I look at a person, I don't see someone who looks a certain way or has this or that amount of chromosomes. I just see someone who I may or may not have to destroy. So if you ever tell me what to do, I will end you. Put it down, bag. Do not even think about talking for the next 30 seconds, okay? Nod so I know you understand me. Good. I have pepperoni in my bra. Those are your nipples. We joined the Cheerios together. We joined Glee Club together. We all slept with Puckerman the same year. Mm -hmm. We're like besties for life. Yeah, come on, Quinn. You know, we used to like the Three Musketeers, and now Santana are like Almond Joy, and you're like a Jolly Rancher that fell in the ashtray. You guys never understood the pressure I was under. It sucked. I'm not interested in the boys, or the makeup, or the polyester outfits. Look, I've got a bar of soap and a bottle of peroxide with your name on it in my locker. This is not the poster we agreed on. The poster that you wanted gave me crippling depression. I wanted something toned down. This is toned down. In the original, the unicorn was writing you. I also think that you should wait. Speaking from experience, Finn is terrible in bed. See, Tana, that is not cool. Well, what? If Rachel wants my sloppy seconds, she should at least know the truth. Look, it was like being smothered by a sweaty, out-of-breath sack of potatoes that someone soaked in body spray. If you and I were in Shelby's group, we'd get all the solos and the duets. Our voices sound amazing together. Plus, it's an all-girl group. Well, why would I care about all-girl? It's all lady power all the time. I mean, Shelby's a great teacher. I mean, I'm hitting notes I didn't even know existed. She gets me what I have to give. It feels good. You know, honestly, I wish I could, but I, somebody's got to look out for Brittany. I mean, that special place where she lives, yeah, it's beautiful, but someone's got to help her cross the street. You know what, Girl Chang? If you cry every time someone gets a hangnail, it kind of starts to lose its effect. Come on, ladies. It's not like this is the first time I've ever proposed. Oh, yeah? How did that marriage work out for you? I mean, what was your big move then? A jumbotron that said, hey, Terry, I want to make a fake baby with you. Here's the deal, pixie boy. You've got a crush on my girl, Brittany. I understand. She's beautiful. She's innocent. She's everything that's good in this miserable, stinking world. Do you agree? Nod. Good. Also, she thinks you're a sprightly green mythological creature. But I know you're a potato eating poser. But since Brittany likes having a pet Irish, I'm not gonna explode you. Here's what's gonna go down. You know, I just wanted to say that I thought that you blew that song out of the water and totally nailed the assignment. Oh, no, wait, wait a second. Was the assignment wasn't make everything about Rachel Berry and force everyone to watch, was it? You went from La Cucaracha to a bullfighting mariachi. Why don't you just dress up as the Taco Bell Chihuahua and bark the theme song to Dora the Explorer? Yes, I am quitting Glee Club. We need you. We're like a big family and this is our year to win it all. That's right, double stuffed, fatty, gassy McGravy pants. We are just one big, happy, happy family. Santana, stay out of this. You are such a bacon-wrapped, bug-eyed hypocrite. It's freaking hilarious how jealous of Blaine you are. Every time he opens his dreamboat acapella mouth, you're just itching to kick him right in the warblers. Awesome! More backup for me. Oh, okay. You know what? I did not just leave one diva-driven glee club to join another, so let me write you a reality check, Richie bitch. I've seen what you can do. And what you can do is stand in the back, sway, and sing very, very quietly. I, um... Leprechaun, starring a young Jen Aniston, is my favorite movie. It learned me two things. One, leprechauns like fixing shoe buckles because they're gay. And two, they grant wishes. So you're gonna grant me a wish. All right, we don't have to get vicious. Oh, I think we do, soft serve. See, the trouble tones are 3F. Fierce, femme, phenomenal. Oh, and guys, hurry up. Go get some moist towels. We have to keep Finn wet before we can roll him back in the sea. Here's what you have to understand. I didn't do it. We all saw what happened. You slapped Finn in the face, unprovoked. No, see, you don't get it. When I get really pissed off, Santana gets taken over by my other evil personality. Call her Snicks. Her wrath of words is called Snicks juice. I'm kind of like the Incredible Hulk. You can't blame me for anything Snicks does. I'm suspending you and this Snicks. Two weeks, no argument. Sectionals is next week. If you suspend me, I won't be able to beat Grimace and Mr. Shoe's butt. Admit it, Wonder Twins, the only reason why the New Directions beat the Trouble Tones at Sectionals is because that pervy clown judge was freaking high as a kite. Ladies, welcome. We were just brainstorming names for our new group. Perfect, hot bitches. Or hot messes. Free beer. Nice. Hey there, Orca. Hey, Santana. 
You look like an assless J-Lo. <laughs> You're skinny like all the crops failed on your family's farm. That is the lamest thing I didn't understand a word of. Not one word. Is that really all that you can come up with? You seriously think that you can out-insult me? I'm from Lima Heights. I was raised on insults. Tell me Abuela put me to sleep at night, and she is not a nice lady. You know, she tried to sell me once, and it wasn't until I got to kindergarten that I learned my name wasn't Garbage Face. Her meanness only highlights your own personal insecurities. And Rachel, your mustache is thicker than a Middle Eastern dictator's. And now with that decision out of the way, I can stay focused on my one-sided battle of wits with the knuckle drag. Santana, the dodgeball thing was fun until the end, but enough. <laughs> no, honey, I'm just getting started. Santana, Kurt and I have a song we like to sing to each other in the car, and we want to sing that for you right now. Well, there's nothing I'd love more than having two pretty ponies serenade me. I think would get further staging a jellervention for Blaine than singing lady music. I know it's hard. It was hard for me, too. But you can get through this. If you would just stop being so defensive. I'm trying but your hideous bow ties are provoking me. Hey Tubbs, can I talk to you for a second? Hey, listen here, you can't make fun of Finn anymore. Shut your potato hole, I'm here to apologize. Welcome back, Lisa Renna. I've missed you so much since your family packed their bags, loaded them in your mouth and skipped town. Can't tell you how many times I've wanted to enjoy a crisp pickle, but couldn't find anyone to suck the lid off the jar. I assume you've been working as a baby polisher where young mothers place their infants' heads in your mouth to get back that newborn shine. So glad you're back. I haven't seen a smile that big since a claymation abominable snowman got his teeth pulled by that little gay elf dentist. Love, Santana. I'm sorry, the leader? Who died and made you queen, Aretha? This is garbage. Hamburglar Finn is fine. Rachel's right. I haven't been fair to you. You're not fat. I should know, I, I slept with you. I mean, at some point I must have liked that you look like a taco addict who said one too many back alley liposuctions. Whoa. Please stick a sock in it or ship yourself back to Scotland. I'm trying to apologize to Lumps the Clown. I have to be honest, I never really got him. And we are no longer on speaking terms. No, I think he's an amazing performer, but I've never really just got what he was about. Rachel, he's best friends with Wise Minnelli analyst Taylor. No, all I'm saying is that I, I, I just, I haven't connected with him the way that I have with the likes of Barbara or either of the Stevens. Sometimes, Schwartz. I'd throw the smoke in your face, but it's not nearly scalding enough. Okay, but we'll still be homeless for a while. That's sort of the problem. We were better. I don't know, I think I could have gone either way. Oh, it was that damn trouty mouth. Even I felt a little something in my lady loins when he did that magic sex dance. So, I've been sitting here for the last hour, making a list of ways to get back at him. Well, today's your lucky day, because Auntie Snakes just arrived on the Bitch Town Express. Now, my suggestion is that we drag him, bound and gagged, to a tattoo parlor for a tramp stamp that reads, Tips Appreciated, or Congratulations, You're My Thousandth Customer. I mean, really, I'm, I'm sorry that the new directions are going to get crushed by the trouble tones. I'm also sorry that you have no talent. I'm sorry that you sing like you're getting your prostate checked, and you dance like you've been asleep for years, and someone just woke you up. I realized when I chose Becky as co-captain for the Cheerios might have rubbed you the wrong way. Wanky. This week, the Trouble Tones and New Directions will both be singing music created by ladies and for ladies. Oh, hell no. I'll know why we're here. I've waited five years for this. I want ideas for Senior Ditch Day. Go. Oh, uh, Gershwin song, I'm scavenger hunt. Oh, that sounds like torture. Gosh, that song was so depressing. I may actually be dead right now. I, I think... What are you talking about? What family? You lodged a complaint about my teaching tactics with Principal Figgins, possibly derailing my bid for tenure just when I'm trying to have a baby. A baby? With whose vagina? Hey. Have fun riding on Rachel's coattails for the rest of your life. Although, you know what? I would just watch out for her come holiday time if I were him, because if I were her, I'd stick a stent in one of those boobs and let the Finn blubber light the Hanukkah lamp for eight magical nights. Santana, we're worried about you. Worry about yourself, fetus face. Blaine's handsome brother said it best. College is a waste of time. I just want to be famous, plain and simple. Don't even care how it happens. I just want everyone to know my name. Cool. Hey. What are you doing? Trying to keep the flames from shooting out of the side of my face. Well, that outfit isn't helping. Hey, Andrew McCarthy. Don't know if you heard, but Blaine may lose an eye. The same Blaine who was just besties with most of you not four months ago. Waiter, are you serious? Is he gonna be okay? Well, sure, if he doesn't care about singing three dimensions. Trent, I got this. Incredible, and I could see exactly where you were going with it. This was more than just a beautiful love song to Britney. It was also a powerful way to convey your dream that marriage equality will someday be a reality for everyone. And you're off to law school to make it happen. Amazing. Uh, of course I want marriage equality, and yeah, Britney will always be my girlfriend. Score. But my mistress is fame. And that song was all about how I can't live without some fame. Oh, yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Finn, especially. You know, with all the horrible crap I've been through in my life, 
Now I get to add that. Why is everyone staring at me like I'm thin and I just won a butter eating competition? You may look like the villain out of a cheesy 80s high school movie, but you should know that I am fully prepared to go all Danny LaRusso on your ass. In any case, I taped it to my underboob when we went to Dalton and I got Sebastian on tape admitting that there was rock salt in that slushy that blinded Blaine. Now all we have to do is send this tape to the popo and that little bitch let us headed to juvie. You're hanging on Whitney because it's difficult to handle the upheaval in your own lives. We're hanging on to Whitney because she was incredible and we love her, so don't put your baggage on us. You got no crap. I think I just realized I'm gonna miss you. Hmm. Oh God, say something irritating so I can get the taste of this out of my head. And keeping up with the anti-prom theme, everyone is welcome. And unlike the actual prom, which ends at 11 p.m., ours goes until the wee hours of the night. It's where the fun's at, you guys. Okay, how is everyone welcome when this is clearly just a party for you and the two gay Winklevi twins? This is the teacher's lounge. It is our sacred space. Bert and I are gay and Mercedes is black, so kicking us out would be a hate crime. Oh, wait. If Kurt would have taped this to his junk, I would have never heard the end of it. We would have had a whole week of songs about it. True. This is embarrassing. I'm a star. So what am I doing heading to Kentucky? I'm just as talented as Mercedes, Boy Chang, Barry, or Lady Hummel. Let me break it down for you. From one bitch to another. All of this vicious, underhanded crap has got to stop. Is this even legal? Yeah, shouldn't we be in some sort of grinding union? Wanky. Fame is not something to aspire to. How about you save the lecture for the theater nerds that are going to starve in New York while desperately trying to tap dance their way into the chorus of Godspell? No offense, Gay Barry. Can we just talk about what this really is? Rachel Barry isn't getting her way, so she's punishing the rest of us. Santana, that's not the case at all. Stop acting like you're fine and start dealing with your crap. Look, you choked at your big audition. I get it. I'm sorry, but it happens. And I understand that you're pissed off at the universe, but imploding on one of the last nights that we have to spend together because basically you're just not in the mood to dance is maybe the pettiest thing you have ever done. So have fun at your I'm a victim party acting like you're not some selfish, self-centered, lame-ass wannabe diva from hell because me, I'm going to go to my senior prom with my girlfriend and my friends. any of this we can't do it without her because guess what we don't have a choice so be warned if you are not giving this everything you've got i will go all lima heights on your sorry asses listen to yourselves i know i'm sorry i always go to the yelling place i have rage and everyone can stop their hating because you all want to be famous too the only difference is that i am a thousand percent sure that i'm actually going to be famous just like i'm a thousand percent sure that our man child piano player keeps a petite eurasian locked in a trunk underneath his bed Sorry, Chang. Write this down, because there will be a quiz. I'm going to be famous, if it's the last thing I do.